Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video and coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around for more content coming in the future. I love to do tutorials to let you guys know how you can achieve fun looks like this based on the season of the year that we're in. So today, that brings me to doing this fun summer glam look. I wanted to play with color, but kind of stick in the realm of what I think is wearable color. So yes, there's a lot going on in my eyes, but it's not anything too crazy in my opinion because that's definitely my comfort zone, like neutrals with a pop of color and we will be using the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette today. This launched last year, but it's one of my favorite palettes of all time, and I wanted to find a way to do a look with it on my channel, so I thought Summer Glam was the best way to incorporate this. So if you're interested in seeing a really fun look that you can do for this time of the year, very full coverage, yet very dewy, very luminous, then let's just get started. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna do my eyes first today. Then I'm gonna be using the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. This palette just screams summer to me like if you think of summer and what it represents I just feel like this color story is everything that I could ever ask for in a look like this that I'm going for today I'm just gonna quickly prime my eyelids with my concealer and then we'll get started with the eyeshadow by the way I am wearing clothes I know it looks like I'm not wearing clothes but I swear I'm wearing a top just letting you know so first I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called morning and I'm going to dust that all over my lid and a little bit into my crease this is mainly just to set my concealer it's not gonna really add a lot of color on a medium skin tone so I think I'm just going to take Morgan next, which is a light peachy shade, and put that in my crease. Next, I'm going to take a little combination of the two yellow shades in the palette. So this lighter one is called Citrine, and the darker one is called Carnelian. And I'm just going to put those in my crease and a little bit onto my outer corner. All right, so now that we have all those lighter yellowy tones blended all over our eye, next I'm going to start deepening up the outer half of my eyelid to give it more dimension with the shade Jasper, which is kind of like a burnt orange. And I might add in a little bit of clove to make it even deeper. So first I'm going in with Jasper and adding it into my outer corner to bring a lot of more depth into the look. And now with a really small detailed brush, I'm gonna go in with the darker shade right here, clove, to really bring a lot of dark and richness to the outer corner. So I'm just adding a bit of yellow back right above the transition shades just to make sure that that color peeks through. So that is all I wanna do for the upper lid. I know it looks kinda of crazy, but we're gonna add shimmers. We're also gonna clean it up, so don't worry about that. For all over my lid, first I'm gonna start off with Azalea and I'm going to put that in like my outer third and then move it towards the inner part of my eye. So that is Azalea on like the center of my eyelid. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Awakening, which is my favorite shade. I'm gonna place it in the inner third of my eyelid. And lastly, I'm going to take a little bit of Laurel and Agate, these two like lighter shimmers, and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. Okay, so I'm back and I finished up a little bit of my eyes. So in my top lash line, I added the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which is my favorite liquid liner of all time. But today I actually used the shade brown in it. I wanted it to be a little more subtle and not as intense. I really wanted the colors on the eyes to pop more than the eyeliner. And then for my mascara, I went in with a combination of the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So now let's just move on to the face because I just need a little help today. I'm breaking out a lot around my nose and I just need to cover it up and feel better about myself. To prime my skin and prep it for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Will Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer, but this isn't like my favorite thing in the world, but I have it, so I'm definitely gonna use it until it's up. And then to fill in my pores, I'm gonna take the Tatcha The Silk Canvas. I love this, but I definitely like the e.l.f. one way more and it's a fraction of the price. And then to correct my under eye circles, which is probably my favorite step in my whole makeup routine, I'm gonna be taking the Becca Under Eye Corrector in Medium Deep. Okay, so the skin is prepped and it's really good and it feels moisturized so now we're gonna move on to foundation and since this is more of like a summer glam look I definitely want more of a full coverage foundation one of my favorite foundations of all time is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation I wear the shade 3.5 Vanatois I think is how you say it I'm still too fair compared to what I usually am when I'm like out and about throughout the year so I did recently pick up this LA girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment, which is the white shade. And I've heard this is really good to mix into your foundations to make them lighter. It is such a lifesaver because I'm not someone that buys multiple shades of foundation. Like this bottle alone is $49. And like, who's gonna go and buy like two, three shades of these? I'm not doing that. So you can see it's like already lightening up. Now I'm going to spread this all over my face. 
And I just love that I can actually keep using these foundations even though if they're not my shade throughout the year. Next for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. This is also a little bit too deep for me right now, so I bought this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. This is definitely too light for me to use on its own, so I love using this to lighten up some of my deeper concealers. Now let's move into Cream Bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Tantor. I have the shade Light. This works perfect for me, like my skin tone. So I like to apply this Cream Bronzer on a small angled brush like this. I place it all over my forehead and on the sides of my cheeks. And now that we have that drawn out where I wanted to place it, I'm gonna take a duo fiber stippling brush and I'm gonna blend it out all over my face. So to continue the cream products, I'm gonna be using the Kosas Color and Light Cream Duo in the shade Velvet Melon High Intensity. So first I'm gonna apply the cream blush and I'm just gonna do this with the brush. You definitely could do this with your fingers. I'm also gonna bring a little bit on top of my nose and connect the two cheeks to make it look like a sunburn. I'm also going to take the same highlighter, but I am gonna apply this with my finger because I feel like that's how it works best. It just makes your cheeks look really wet and luminous. I love this formula. I love both of these shades. If you are a medium skin tone or deeper, I really recommend Velvet Melon High Intensity. It's so beautiful, especially for the summertime. So I'm going to quickly just set my under eyes. I don't wanna take away this luminosity. I'm actually gonna be taking the Glossier Wouter. I really am curious to try it, and a lot of people say it's kind of a lightweight powder, and since I don't wanna take away from the dewiness I have on my skin, I think it'll be good for this type of look. All right, so now let's start moving into powder products. So for the rest of my face, like all my cheek products, I'm gonna be using the Becca, Chloe, and Malika BFFs collection. I have been loving this palette, and I truly think it's so perfect for summer because the blushes have such a pretty sheen running through them. Okay, so to start off with powder bronzer, I'm gonna be taking the bronzer shade in here. It is a little bit light for me, but since I'm not super tan right now, it'll definitely work. Now to top off the Kosas Cream Blush, I'm gonna take a little bit of this pinky peach blush from the Becca palette. It's in the shade Fabulosity and it has a really pretty shimmer running through it so it won't take away any of the dewiness from the cream blush. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Nabla one. I'm using this one over the one that's in the Chloe palette because this one has a really pretty golden hue to it and I want to kind of bring like a bronzy effect to my skin. So before we finish the eyes, I'm actually just gonna do a quick spritz over my face to lock in all the makeup that we have so far. And I'm gonna be using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. All right, so while that setting spray dries, I'm going to do my eyebrows really fast because I forgot to do them. So my usual is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and I use the shade Medium Brown. And brows are done. So now let's finish up the eyes because it's looking a little bit weird. Definitely want to bring in some of these pink tones on my lower lash line. Just going to take the matte pink shade right here called Glory and buff it all over my lash line to bring a pop of color. So I have the shade Glory all over my lower lash line and it's a little bit intense. So I'm going to take the shade Morgan, which is that first peachy transition shade that we use just to blend it out and soften it a little. Now to finish up my eyes, I usually just use a black Pencil liner, you guys know that I don't really do anything creative for my lower lash line, but today I'm feeling a little bit colorful. I'm going to take a yellow liner in my lower lash line. So this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, and I think this will tie in a little bit of the yellow that we have on our upper lid. I'm actually really liking this. It's definitely really different for me, so I'm kind of getting used to it, but it brings something cool to the look, and it's not just the basic black liner. Definitely, when it comes to lips, I am a nude girl at heart. I love nude lips. I don't really wear color on my lips ever, like basically. So I'm just gonna be using two of my favorite nude lip products, the ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade Curvy and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Culotta. It's just the perfect lipstick color for me, like literally my exact nude, and they're so creamy, they don't dry your lips. Just perfect, I love this. I kinda wanna add a gloss because I feel like it'll just really finish the look. I'm not really sure, should I do nude or should I do pink? Okay, so to finish off this look, I'm just gonna be spritzing my face with the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. I just feel like there's a lot of better dewy setting sprays, so this is not my favorite anymore, but it's nice to give like a nice radiance back to your skin. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Here's a close up. The eyes are so pretty. It's like the perfect combination for the colors that I wanna wear all summer long. So that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed all the products that I used today. I just love this Natasha Denona palette and I really wanted to find an excuse to bring it on my channel right now because it's not like new news or anything, but it's still one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes. As always, all the products that I use will be listed in the description box so you can look them up if you're interested in anything that I use on my face today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.